I wrote a book two years ago, and um, I know it's all source. I know it was. I was totally in the receptive mode when the book was written. I know every beautiful word in that book came from my sword. I don't doubt that for a second. Yeah. And it's in the process of being published, yeah. and I'm resisting it. Why? I don't feel deserving of the success. Well, don't worry about it because it won't come then. <laughs> so it won't get out ahead of you. I'm afraid I'll have success and I don't deserve it. No, it won't come. So in fact, I was successful at not being successful. It won't come. It will come as you feel it to be. But what you just said about it was a whole different vibration than then what you followed up with, you see. So this is what we want to ask you. If you were tuned in, tapped in, turned on enough to receive the book, that's pretty deserving or you wouldn't have received it. So you think Source just said, ah, that's enough for him. Let's turn this spigot off. <laughs> we gave him the book. He's getting pretty greedy. <laughs> yep. No more for him. <laughs> Completely illogical, isn't it? So all that's happened is that you're turning the spigot off with re repetition of words that are so illogical. And given what we just said to you and your reception of it, for you to repeat that back to us at the end of our long and very good story <laughs> tells us that that's just a habit that you've got going on, that our wonderful words, and they were so good didn't do a lot to change the way you feel but it was a good first step you're gonna to have to tell that story to yourself for a while before you don't revert back to the self feeling that is hindering now not to kick a puppy when it's down <laughs> but what possible thing could you be using for your justification of your lack of deservedness old tapes it's a lot of people because they want something that they haven't let in then they let the fact that they haven't let it in keep them from letting it in you feel how illogical that is I cannot let this in because I've never let it in before that's like Esther getting to the airport and just staying even right now in that construction place just sitting there and saying mm, about now there's a lot of people in that room in Chicago I bet they miss me but you don't just go there and stay stuck you find your way out of it don't you don't you always do that so Whose words are repeating? You don't have to tell us, but someone's words repeating in your head. Were you told that you were inappropriate? Yes. By some fool? Yes. Yeah. So why do you repeat the foolishness? You knew even then in the beginning that those were not accurate words. So this is the question that we really want you to hear and answer. It's going to be easy and yet hard, but easy and yet hard easier than hard no harder than easy <laughs> you're gonna really like it no you won't but, but we want you all to play along with this what's in it for you what possible thing do you think you gain by being self-deprecating what's in it for you does someone else soothe you when you say I'm not good do other people say oh yes you are no, well, I, don't, I don't go through that ritual. No, anymore. we didn't think you do. So what's in it? There must be something. Anytime you're repeating a story, there must be some satisfaction in it. What sort of satisfaction could there be? What is it? Being in control of the outcome, even though it's not the outcome that I want, there's safety in the knowing what the outcome's going to be. Give us more about that. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what's around the corner, fear of what's going to happen. Which is more not trusting yourself. Exactly. So now play that all out for us. So you choose the thought, I'm not deserving. I've decided to say I don't deserve good things because. Not worthy. That's always I've decided sayings. to say I'm not worthy because. 
Is it possible it's just a thought you keep thinking? But what we want to ask is, why do you keep thinking that thought? What is it around you that makes that? In other words, if you hung around with us, you wouldn't say that very long because we'd climb your tree every time you did it. <laughs> every time you did it, we'd make lists of things. But in this format, we can speak them into your ear. You may still not be able to hear them. But when you're receiving them from your inner being, they're so subtle you can't hear them if you're beating a really loud drum of unworthiness. So what we're asking you to just take a minute to try to find the irrationality in is what's in it for you for anybody why would anybody continue to express I don't feel worthy or I am not worthy you know what we think it is you know what it is it's that you are judging your worthiness based on manifestations instead of what's in the pipeline so it's like saying because I've never done that I can't do that because I haven't done it before I cannot do it now it's that the now reality has so much of your attention that it is occupying the majority of your vibration. We've been saying this for a long time. Most people offer most of their vibration in response to what they are observing. And yet, you know what's tricky about this? You also observed yourself getting in the receiving mode and receiving a book. You observed that. So why isn't that the one that stuck instead of the other? Wouldn't it be as easy to say? I was tuned in, tapped in, turned on, or I couldn't have received that. And that same tuning in will guide me down the path of least resistance to everything else. Or you could say, I received this book for me. And when I feel like it, I might share it with others. But for now, I received this book for me. This was a message for my inner being to me. The next book might be for someone else. We always tell people who have written a book and they're trying to figure out how to get it published, you figure that out, or how to feel better about it. What do I do? Write another book. But I've already got one. Yeah, but write another one. Why? Because as you write another one, the pipeline stays open. It just takes finding something that you can focus upon so that you're not focusing on that. Because we can tell you all day, every day, and we do, that your feeling of unworthiness is unwarranted. You're going to really like this. Have you ever had an experience where you have a very clear opinion about something and somebody that you care about, a friend or a mate or a family member or a neighbor, has a very strong opinion that exactly opposes yours about the same subject? So you get together wanting to persuade your foolish counterpart why you're right. And the more you say, the more they dig in. And the more they dig in, the more you dig in. And the more you dig in, the more they dig in. Until nobody moves. It's not very satisfying, is it? You get louder. You bring more links to more websites. <laughs> and you each just hold stronger in your position. Well what we want you to realize is that you do that with just you all the time when you have a desire that you don't believe it's the same sort of thing and sometimes a new desire will cause a belief to dig in so you got to just give that belief a little less attention because it will dissipate altogether because of lack of attention but what's required because most people don't know is my desire right or is my belief right don't you think that's what's going on don't know maybe I shouldn't want this desire maybe I'm not worthy of this desire because this belief is sure embedded in me it's been there for a long 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 time maybe I'm foolish to let this belief go and let this desire happen that's what happens within so many of you but do you know how you know because your inner being is lined up with your desire and when you are opposing your own desire, you won't feel good. And when you don't feel good, that's how you know you've got your own battle going on with your own self that you might want to give up because your inner being always knows. Your inner being is pure love, pure appreciation, always guiding you toward who you really are and what you really want. So any thought that does not feel good is because you're digging in in opposition to your inner being. Now, the reason that we ask you that question about what's in it for you, what's the upside of continuing to make that statement, I'm not worthy, 
or I don't deserve it, is that sometimes that is a bit up the emotional scale of what you're really feeling. If you're really feeling depressed or discouraged, then maybe that thought feels a little better. Maybe that thought is more satisfying than another thought. So that's what we're asking you. Is there something worse than feeling unworthy that makes feeling unworthy satisfying and then a good choice? Yeah, there's depression. So maybe making a statement about it feels like you are taking back some of that control. If there's depression, then maybe saying, well, I've written a book, but I don't know. Maybe that statement of unworthiness is a step up for you, up the emotional scale, because there has to be some satisfaction in it somewhere for you. We would just encourage you to contemplate it and realize that unworthiness, there is so much better to feel than that. Hope's up there a little ways. So unworthiness, what would feel better to you than unworthiness? Of course, loving myself. That's way too far. You can't get there. <laughs> what would feel better than unworthiness? Just simply feeling worthy. That's way too far. That's way, way, way too far. You can't make that jump. What would be a little more satisfying to you than I'm not worthy? I am so mad at myself about not being worthy. I'm so angry at myself for feeling unworthy. Or I'm angry at my mother for starting it off that way. I'm angry at whoever taught me this unworthiness. I'm sort of mad at everybody. I'm mad at everybody because I was born knowing my worthiness and I'm mad at all of them for taking it away from me. Feels pretty damn satisfying, doesn't it? <laughs> and then if you can hang around in anger for a little while, then what would feel a little better than anger? Frustration? It's frustrating not to get movement when I want it. Frustration is lighter. It has less resistance in it. And about then, you don't have to move very far. You can meditate yourself right up into that feeling of worthiness. Now, did you feel how hard that was? That was so hard. That was so hard. And he didn't even come with us, did you notice? He's just still got that same look on his face. But if you would meditate in the morning and really quiet your mind, those feelings of unworthiness would go away. All of those feelings would go away because if there is not a thought that supports them and in meditation there will be no thought that supports them, that energy will shift. And then all of those other feelings that you often have on other subjects will become more and more and more dominant so that every day you'll feel a little better. Every day that you meditate, you'll feel a little better. And we know that you cannot just take our word for it, even though we are telling you exactly the way it works. Because words don't teach, it's only life experience that teaches. And so we can talk all day about meditating and the benefits of it and how quieting your mind releases resistance and how your vibration will rise and you'll join your inner being. And when you join your inner being on a regular basis, like every day for 10 or 15 minutes, that you'll start consciously acknowledging the receiving mode that you're in and thoughts will begin to occur to you and good ideas will come to you. It's so fun to begin experiencing life where your reception is consciously acknowledged by you. So here's the answer to your question. The only thing that you need to do and need isn't the word that we like at all. The only thing that you are going to want to do, the only thing that we would recommend, and we never recommend anything to anybody, <laughs> the thing that you're really going to enjoy doing is meditating every day, really quieting your mind. First day, maybe not. Second day, maybe not. But by the third day, you'll be doing it. And then begin watching the improvement in the way your day unfolds. Because when you do that and you feel that, you will know that you have the ability to tune into source energy. And do you know that's what worthiness feels like? That's all that it is. Do you know what the feeling of unworthiness is? Here's the thing. People talk about unworthiness as if it's something that someone who's judging you can declare about you. You, worthy. You, not so much. No. There's not someone deciding the worthy from the unworthy. They're just those in alignment with source who loves them and those who've pinched some of it off.